There are fresh twists in Pakistan's race to power. It has been a day of press conferences and surprise announcements, but suspense remains over who will become the country's next prime minister. However, one key leader is confirming that it will not be him. Just a short while ago, the chairman of Pakistan People's Party, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, addressed a press conference. The 35-year-old former foreign minister clarified he will not be a prime ministerial candidate. Pakistan People's Party does not have a mandate to form government, uh, to form the federal, the federal government. Or, uh, I will not be putting myself forward for the candidacy of the Prime Minister. Not only did the PPP chief withdraw possibility of him taking the reins, he also put his father's name in the forefront for the country's new leadership. जहाँ तक मुस्लिम लीग नून की या किसी भी जमात की वजीर आजम की उम्मीदवार हैं वो उन जमातों का फैसला है कि वो कौन अपने उम्मीदवार बनाएंगे जहाँ तक पाकिस्तान पीपल्स पार्टी का इन इलेक्शन में कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अहदे पे कि कौन कौन हमारे उम्मीदवार होंगे वो तो पार्टी का फैसला होगा मेरा ख्वाहिश ये ज़रूर होगा कि सदर सरदारी जब प्रेजिडेंसी का इलेक्शन आए तो उस इलेक्शन में हिस्सा ले और इस मुल्क का सदर बने Shortly after his address, PTI also issued a statement slamming Bilawal Bhutto for quote-unquote keeping his family and hereditary politics alive through bare corruption and power sharing. The PTI chairman held a press conference on the heels of Zardari's announcement and the Imran Khan-backed party has kept its stance firm on forming Pakistan's next government. Khan Saab has this decision. We will चाहे वो मरकज में चाहे वो पंजाब में चाहे वो के पी के में हम छोटी पार्टियों को मिला के हकूमत बनाएंगे जो कि हमारे पास अपना मैंडेट पूरा है लेकिन पाकिस्तान पीपल्स पार्टी पाक पी एम एल और एम क्यू एम के साथ हम किसी किस्म का कोई एहतियात नहीं करेंगे हम इन शाह तीन हुकूमत आप बनाएंगे इन शाह तर इसमें हम कामयाब हो जस्ट फॉर दी बेनिफिट ऑफ आर व्यूअर्स this is where final national assembly results stand independence bagged the largest number of seats with a tally of 101 out of these 91 were bagged by imran khan's pti this is followed by pakistan muslim league nawaz at 75 and ppp at 54 and five days after mandate there is no clarity yet on which alliance will pass the litmus test to form the cash strapped nation's government and for the latest, our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has sent us this report from Islamabad. Well, Pakistan's race to power literally continues. The Bilawal Bhutto Zardari led People's Party has announced that it will not be part of the government, nor taking any ministries, but would rather be supporting the PMLN in its quest to have its own prime minister. Addressing a press conference, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari made it clear that uh, uh, it would not, it's, his party would not be part of the government. Now, interestingly enough, this is a repeat of 2008, what uh, uh, PVP, when PVP were in power and what the PMLN did for them. But with that being said, uh, it's a thought out move thought, uh, on the part of the Pakistan People's Party to not to take uh, the government or any treasury benches per se for the very reason that the first year, at least the first year of the new disordered government would be quite turbulent and would be marred by issues, uh, something that irrespective of whosoever comes into power has to has to come across and face the reality and therefore uh, the People's Party has seemingly given it a miss and thrown the ball in the court of the Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz. Anas Malik Islamat, Pakistan for We On, World is One. For all the latest news, download the We On app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.